Okay, we're ready for step 15, where we're going to make the little area that covers up the um, headlight. But the first thing we're going to do is go to Material Manager. Let's go ahead and make this transparency up a little bit. There we go, so we can see our truck. And then what we want to go over here, pull the Shift key and drag and select that material and pull it over. And we want to make a new material. And we don't need transparency on this. And we want to pick a color that shows up. Any color you want to use so that we can see it, I'm going to use black. OK. There we go. Like that. Go to your object manager. What we're going to want to do, too, is delete this part maker and delete this one right here. We still have our main one down here. So if we've got to go back, we can. And right here, we want to. Um, select that one. Let's go ahead and copy it, but don't paste it. Or go ahead and paste it. Paste it and hide it in case we need it for another part, but I don't think we should. So let's name this Headlight Housing. Okay. Now what we want to do is uh, go back to the object window, open it up, and headlight frame, we want to add this to there, the black material to there, so that we can still see it behind there as we go along. As you can see, it's added to it, and it has a transparency, which we don't want. So let's open up the material editor, and go to transparency. It doesn't have transparency. Hmm. Zero. Okay, there we go. Downsize that, and we want to make sure we select this one right here. Go to F4 Front View, Rectangle Selection Tool, and delete all these bad boys over here. And let's go ahead and delete. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and delete this row out here. Delete. Delete this row out here. Delete these two rows out here and delete these top row points right there. Now we want to take this and we want to size it to the inner of that black area right there. There we go, there goes that. Move these in right here too. Where it's moved in right here, there we go. Move these up. And there we go, and grab these and move those in. Okay, pretty good. There we go, we have it so far. And we want to leave it just like that and go back to front view. Deselect, don't, don't have any points selected. Let's go to knife tool, double click it. And let's do a line, uncheck the single box here. So we can do a continuous cut. And get zoom in here a little bit. And cut from the top here. Let's uh, add a point here to cut from. Select there, go down to here, and go down to the bottom of the headlight, and then go here to the side, try to get it the best you can, and then right here. And then hit the space bar to switch back to your tool. And we have the selection tool, but what we want to do now is add some cuts from the corners. So go back to your knife tool, double click it, and just check the single box so that we do one cut only. Select this point right here and cut to about the middle. Try to get it to the middle as best you can. Do the same here about the middle and bring it to the point line here and do the same down here and the other side. Boom. Boom. And about middle ways. All right. Next, go to your Rectangle Selection Tool. Select the four new points you just made and cuts. Scale Tool and scale out to it looks like a octagon circle or a semicircle that's with squares on it. Now, what you can do if you look and see that some of these are out of place, so go ahead and take this one and just kind of even it out and even that one out just a little bit. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. There we go. Now that you have that, 
we want to do a live selection and select all these points here. Hold the shift key down. Select all these points and go ahead and draw them in pretty good. Say about right, right about there. That looks good. All right. Now you want to go to polygon mode and select these four polys right here. The extrude tool, extrude in one time real small. Make this a good edge and then go ahead and pull back a lot more. And I would do one more and then delete. Okay, there we go. Now we want to look to see how our progress is doing. So open up your, not your material manager, your objects manager. And slide this down into here so that we can see how we're looking as far as how the shape's coming out for us, see if that's what we're going for. Yeah, pretty good. Looks good. Okay, but we want to add a little lip edge here, a little frame to this section here. So what we're going to do is go back to the Objects Manager, make sure we have that selected, and we want to go make sure we're on Polygon Mode, which we are, and what we want to do too to this piece so that we can maneuver around correctly is go up here to Plugins. If you have the Axis tool, use that to center the axis so that we can pivot around that model. Front view, let's go to Live Selection Tool, let's select your corners. Right here, so let's select all the outer edges. Now we're doing this one a little different than we've done all the other frame pieces because of this middle section here and we want to keep four squares and I don't want to add more cuts across the main frame. So what we'll do is actually just go to our Extrude Tool, extrude out just a little bit and then one more time. And now you see we've got here problems. We've just messed our beautiful little mesh up that looks smooth from the edge. Well, simple to fix. Go to F4, go to Points Tool, go to the Line Tool, I mean the Knife Tool, excuse me, and Single Line, yeah, Visible Only. Make sure that's unchecked so we can cut through the mesh. And go right about here, and go straight across, boom and go to the top, do the same thing. There we go. Now, what that's done is gave some nice, beautiful little cuts here, which we'll do a little test render to show you. There we go. Now, that's what we're after, that nice little clean, smooth edge to it right there. And if you want to, it's, it's, it's a HUD render, so it doesn't look great. You can add a cut across here on the top, too, to give it even a better look to it, so we'll do that. And go ahead. Oh, I think I'm happy with it like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, we're ready to move it into place. F4, we'll see that it looks pretty good in shape right there. So now we want to go to F2, the top view, rectangle selection tool. Select all of them, and let's move them back to where they look like they line up pretty good with the top. And so what we got to do is move these back just a little bit. There we go, and grab those. Move those back a little bit. You got to move these up a little bit too, because they sticks out a little bit. Okay. There we go. A little bit better. It's gonna have to do some more, but let's go to F3 so we can see it better. And go ahead and grab your bottom ones and move those back where it fits in with the truck frame headlight front frame do the same with the middle ones and line those up pretty good they stick out just a little bit and do the same with the top ones there we go check them out see make sure we kept everything straight on the headlight part do a little test render make sure everything lined up pretty good there we go. All right, we got it pretty good. Looks great. All right, there's our front headlight piece, but what we forgot to do was go to the edge loop or edge, use edge tool, the edge tool, and we want to do the loop selection. Select that and do a extrude. Doesn't have to be a big one, just do a little and then pull it back, and there we go. 
it's done. There we go. Now we have the housing frame for the headlight. So that's it for step 15. We're going to move on to step 16. Let's model the headlight. All right. See you there.